So Google just dropped an AI bombshell on us. It's calling it MUM, Multitask Unified Model. And it's like the search just went through a Rocky-style training montage and emerged leaner, meaner, and more powerful than ever. This isn't just your regular update. It's a whole new take on how we interact with information online. Let's start with the technical stuff. MUM is built on a transformer-based architecture. Remember, transformers here are more about fancy algorithms than cars that turn into robots. This architecture enables MUM to handle various types of data, from text to images and more. It's a jack-of-all-trades, master of, well, all, apparently. And what's the fuss about this? Well, imagine being able to ask Google to show you pictures of a specific place at a particular time of day or season. Want to see how the Eiffel Tower looks in the spring at sunset? No problem. Need to compare two hiking trails visually? Easy peasy. So, let's take a moment to think about the tourism industry, right? I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good vacation? And it's precisely here where Google's mum could become a game changer. Imagine you're planning a trip to, let's say, Italy. You've got your heart set on sipping the finest wine under the Tuscan sun, but you also want to hike the dramatic cliffs of Cinque Terre. Now, the catch is you've never been to Italy, let alone Tuscany, and your hiking experience is, well, a bit underwhelming, to say the least. Mum steps in here, like your personal travel advisor, who also happens to be a hiking expert. You can ask it, what should a novice hiker pack for a summer trip to Cinque Terre? And Mum will dig deep into the web's wealth of information to give you a detailed response, even drawing from related topics like weather conditions, hiking gear, and local attractions. It'll practically hand you a packing list, maybe even suggest the best local gelato flavors to try after a long day's hike. It's not just about pulling data. It's about understanding your need and delivering comprehensive, useful, and relevant answers. And this extends beyond tourism. Academia, for instance, could benefit immensely. Imagine a researcher gathering data for a multidisciplinary study or a student working on a cross-cultural comparative essay. Mum could streamline their research process, provide nuanced insights, and potentially open up new avenues of exploration. So, in essence, Mum isn't just a tool. It's a facilitator, a guide, and, dare I say, a bit of a revolution in information retrieval. Now, let's chat about this little gem that Google unveiled for our dear developers, the Studio Bot. Picture this. You're knee-deep in code, it's late, and you've got this annoying bug that just won't quit. That's where our new buddy steps in. Studio Bot is this nifty AI-powered coding assistant that's ready to help when the going gets tough. She's kind of like a super smart friend who's always available to lend a hand, but she doesn't need any pizza as payment. Google built this clever girl on Cody, their new foundational coding model, and she's a bit of a prodigy, understanding both Kotlin and Java. She's sitting right there in the toolbar on Android Studio, ready to answer questions, debug code, and even generate code for you. It's like having a super intelligent rubber duck for debugging, only this one can actually talk back. Now, Google assures us that we don't need to share our source code with them to use StudioBot, which is a relief, but they will receive data from the conversations we have with her. It's early days for our friend StudioBot, and right now, she's only hanging out with developers in the US. But with this handy tool, Google is changing the game for Android app development. Google's AI ventures aren't limited to search and chatbots. They're also infusing AI into Android phones in a big way. It's like Android is getting a massive AI booster shot, and it's changing everything from wallpapers to text messaging. Here's the scoop. Google is introducing a new suite of generative wallpapers for Android. These aren't just any wallpapers, mind you. They're AI-generated wallpapers that change and breathe as if they've got a life of their own. It's a neat party trick and it gives your phone a unique, personalized touch. However, don't get too excited just yet. These wallpapers will be exclusive to Google's own Pixel phones at first. So if you've got a different brand, you might just have to wait your turn. But it's not just about wallpapers. Android's messaging system is getting an AI facelift too. This summer, Google's Messages app will receive a Magic Compose feature, which uses generative AI to suggest responses based on the context of your messages. It's like having a well-read, articulate friend whispering suggestions to you during a conversation. 
Magic Compose can even change the tone of your message if you prompt it to. You can go from formal to poetic to Shakespearean at the flick of a switch. Now, who wouldn't want that? Talking about androids, they can be a bit of a drain on our batteries and our patience at times. So imagine if your Android device could predict your next move before you even knew you were going to make it. Sounds pretty neat, huh? But what's the catch? Well, here's the thing. AI, for all its benefits, is a bit of a power hog. We're talking serious juice. So while your phone may run smoother than ever, it may also need to be permanently attached to a power source. And don't even get me started on the potential overheating issues. But Google is already working on solutions. They're exploring ways to optimize AI algorithms and improve power efficiency. They're also looking at incorporating dedicated AI chips into future devices to handle the heavy lifting without tanking your battery. So, the future of Android might just be smarter, more efficient, and less tethered to the wall socket. Now let's talk games. You've probably already heard about how AI is rocking the gaming industry, but let's dig a little deeper into what Google is doing. So, imagine this. You're playing your favorite game on your Android device. Let's say it's an open-world adventure game. Now, traditionally, you'd explore a predetermined world created by the game developers, right? However, with Google's AI advancements, this could change drastically. Here's where it gets interesting. Instead of a fixed map or storyline, Google's AI could potentially create unique, dynamic game environments and storylines on the fly. It's like having a game that never ends and is constantly evolving. No two gaming experiences would be the same, adding a level of unpredictability and excitement to your gaming sessions. I mean, who wouldn't want to play a game that adapts to your playing style, right? You could be slaying dragons one minute and the next, you could be exploring uncharted alien planets all within the same game. Sure, there are caveats, of course. We've got to consider the implications on game balance, data privacy, and even the size of the game files. But if anyone can pull this off, it's probably Google. Now, here's a juicy tidbit that's too good to pass up. Ever hear about the Code Red situation at Google? No, it wasn't about a rogue coffee machine in the break room or a misplaced Android prototype, but something a little more, let's say, existential. It all kicked off when OpenAI rolled out ChatGPT, and even though it wasn't perfect, boy, did it turn heads. So much so that it reportedly triggered a code red over at Google. Yeah, Google, the tech behemoth, was shaken up by a project from the underdog OpenAI. This little incident tells us something quite profound about the state of affairs in the AI world. It's cutthroat. It's relentless. And it waits for no one, not even Google. It's like the Wild West out there with everyone racing to stake their claim on the next big AI breakthrough. And it's not just about bragging rights or having the smartest AI on the block. It's about shaping the future of technology, industry, and society. Talk about high stakes, huh? So, what did our friends at Google do in response to this code red? They doubled down channeling more resources into their AI projects. Because in this game, you either innovate or you're left in the dust. And Google, as we've seen, is not keen on eating anyone's dust. So now Google is going full steam ahead with AI, infusing it into everything from search to Android. But while these advancements are exciting, they're still in the early stages. The AI journey is a marathon, not a sprint and we've still got a long way to go. So, should we be excited or skeptical? Probably a bit of both. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, and witty sarcasm in the comments below. And hey, if you had a good time watching this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and maybe even consider subscribing to our channel. All right, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon and your mind open to the possibilities that the future holds.